Hey guys, Masanelli here, and welcome back to another episode of Banjo Kazooie! In the last episode, we started out Bubble Gloop Swamp, and we got through most of it. It was not as long as I was expecting it to take, which uh, surprises me because this is one of the ones that kind of intimidates me in the way of like how dense with collectibles it is, but it's been going very, very smoothly. So I'm fairly proud of that. Hello, Mr. Crocodile! Honestly, I gave it some thought and I do think that this crocodile is why this, uh, this stage is so memorable to me. Uh, do I have full health or not? I do not, so I can get that, uh, this little honeycomb here. I just, I just remember so much of this specific area and it's one of the ones that pop in my head very very quickly um am i, am I gonna make this i'm not gonna make this uh you know i'll just tank these couple of hits or one hit or two hits hello how, how about how about not ha ha Enjoy your crushed cranium, you stupid amphibian. All right, well, up here we have a Jinjo. And there are a few more poles that we can go for, so I'm gonna just try to not, you know, get devoured by the water. That would be helpful. Uh, whoop, all the way across. Please grab it, thank you. Up here we have some eggs. And over here, we have, mm, you know something? <laughs> you know, wait a second, can I actually, I feel like this is a very, very risky thing. But no, I can't make it. Okay, I, I had to find out. I, I just, I just needed to know, okay? It was for science. It was a dumb thing to test, but uh, it, w it was for science. Specifically science. All right, well, we have everything in that area over there. So now we can head up this slope. Uh, make another stupid mistake. <laughs> oh, yes, I love wading through crocodile slash uh, piranha invested waters. Okay, uh, at least this is here, so I can get basically almost up to full health. That's fine. Oh, this guy! Hey, 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 hey! Yeah! Come here! Come here! Thank you! Now I'm up to full health again. Look, it works out. Now, I do very distinctly remember this part. Um, you know, I don't know why... But this maze terrified me when I was younger. Uh, I always felt like I was just going to die. I was gonna get lost and I was gonna perish. And, uh, you know, maybe I wasn't entirely wrong to feel that way because uh, I'm, I'm sucking pretty bad right now. There we go. But I always had the feeling that I was never gonna be able to find my way through this maze. There, there were, there were gonna be dead ends, and there was gonna be things that I never would be able to find. But it's honestly just a straight shot. It takes a little bit of time to make it through, I guess. And uh, you might take a hit or two, you know, trying to get to that side. Oh, this part, right? I do hate this. <laughs> but uh, it's not so much a maze. As it is just like a... Mm, jump across, please! Thank you very much! It's not so much a maze, so much it is just like a pathway to get through before you can get to the cool stuff, you know? So, I don't know, now that I'm older, I'm not terribly affected by it, but I do remember just hating this as a child. I was just like, man, I'm terrible at mazes. Why would they include this in the game? Etc. Etc. Not much has changed. <laughs> I I still I still whine about stuff like that even as an adult. But I mean, I guess not everything uh, could change from back then to now. now I'm wanting to say. 
Uh, is there something in here? I feel like there's something in here, but there might not be. No? How about behind? Yeah! I knew it! There is a Mumbo token behind Mumbo's head. You can't see it. You just have to kind of know to test for it. And as per usual... Uh, well, there is also another Mumbo's token behind him. We are vastly over the, uh, we are vastly over what we need for, for the transformation here. Uh, now that can be a little bit tricky to get. So, uh, I'm not entirely sure where to jump from. There we go! Yay, and that makes another... <laughs> I wanted to say a heart container, but no, it's like honeycomb container. Blah, blah. How many Jinjos do we have? We're missing the pink one. All right. Uh, so, without further ado, it is time to spend 10 tokens to turn into a little baby crocodile! <laughs> Wait, Mambo need new boots. Only... How dare you? How dare you? I'm gonna freaking bite off your legs, man. Jeez. Oh, man. All right, well, uh, we're, we're tiny and we're cute and we're also dangerous, kind of like baby alligators. I, mean, I guess I guess this is more similar to an alligator than it is a crocodile. Is this supposed to be an alligator or a crocodile? I think it's an alligator, actually. Now that I'm looking at it more, because alligators have like the whole narrow snout going on. But I mean, I, I like I like this. Either way, crocodile or alligator, um, we're real cute. I like lizards and I like reptiles, so I'm all about this transformation. Uh, but now we have to go into the sinus of this guy and uh, participate in something that I'm not I'm not great at. We got three notes in there and an ikumbokum. Oh boy. All right. All right. This is this is going to take a bit. <laughs> I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept or B to check it out. We'll play. Game is simple. Eat more red yum yumblies than me. Press X to eat yumblies. Ready? Three, two, one, go. So, uh, it is actually very simple. Just do this. Try to aim for the ones that he's going for or that he's nearby so that you stay ahead of him. Uh, also, you can strategize so that you are going towards batches of them that are close to each other. So, it's actually very, very simple. Sometimes, though, sometimes you can get unlucky. Uh, alright. Oh! <laughs> or I can just, like, eat a thing. Okay, so we're, we're on the right track. But he's also catching up. Now I'm gonna try and eat the ones close to him. Here we go. Keep him from eating any. He's gonna go for that one. He's gonna go for this one now. And oh, he... Mmm... Nope, not today! Arr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game! Eat reds. Avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? Three, two, one, go! So yeah, it gets harder and harder every time. Uh, the red ones... Uh, not the red ones, but the yellow ones honestly just look like worms to me. They're not even, like, fruit. What are they even supposed to be? Also, I missed. Also, also, I'm doing pretty bad, actually. Okay, but I'm still coming out ahead. Which is good. I have 12. Haha! -ha, sniped! I see you heading for that one, but, uh... Oh! 
Great, perfect. That was that was perfection. Woo! And I will mention this: that ties are count as a counted as a loss. So you need to outright beat him in number. You can't tie him. Thankfully, it does not look like that's going to be an issue right now. Yeah, we beat him by three. Bah! Lucky Greeny wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at the top of the screen. This one's where it gets kind of difficult. All right, so the way that you want to do this is keep an eye on the timer because every 10 seconds it will switch to the other color. So try to position yourself so that you're already in the position to grab whatever it is that it's changing to, which I'm not having great luck with right now, but maybe that will change. Ooh, I might actually... I'm not... Hmm. Okay, there we go. Not today. Oh, shoot, I missed it! Okay, here we go. One. Oh, come on! Ugh, mine! Oh shoot. All right, no, I need I need to get out. Get out, get out, get out. Oh. Well, once again, it's a tie. Mighty Mr. Vile when now Greeny gets chewed. All right, this kind of sucks because uh theoretically you can escape before he gets to you like this. And he will actually take away some life. So, uh the downside of doing this is that when you come back in, you have to start from scratch. So, uh, we need to play the easy game again. We play easy game again first. So, yeah, we, we have to do this garbage all over again. So, it, it's a little bit time consuming to do this. And it's unfortunate, but we gotta do what you gotta do, I suppose. Girl, we play hardest game again now. Ready? Go. All right. So this this is where it gets a little bit. Oh, come on. It's a little bit tricky. Okay, it's going to start doing the yellows. Now, if you want to have an easier time of playing this, technically you can wait until later in the game to unlock the shoes back there. You see those shoes? That'll make this game a lot easier. We don't have the ability to use it right now, which is unfortunate, but uh, that is an option. I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way and just try to beat him like this, but it's a little bit harder. Two, one. Yeah, buddy. Three. Mm, I'll let him have that. Uh. Ha ha! Beaten by one. Nice. Woo! Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have prize. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh. No. Uh, he must win, win next three games to win three extra lives, but each time Greeny loses, Mr. Vile chomps you for one life. No. Absolutely not. No. Uh, Mr. Vile is baddest croc of all. Look, everyone, Greeny is scurrying off. No, I just really want my Jiggy. May maybe leave me alone, dude. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, th this is absolutely one of the most memorable things in this game for me. Just personally, I remember this. Wh when I think of Banjo-Kazooie, this is definitely one of the things that I'm like, you know, that 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 is a thing that happens in this game that I distinctly remember. And honestly, the croc is one of my favorite transformations too, just because I, I like lizards and I like, I like reptiles and the thought of being a cute little itty bitty uh, stumpy legged legged crocodile is too adorable for me, so you know, I I it's right up my alley. 
All right, so uh, here we go. We have the last of the notes. Uh, an ikumbokum right there. And that was the last mumbo token that we can get in this world. And we also have the last Jiggy! Yay! And that's our... That, oh, wait. There, there's a mumbo token. There! Now we have all the mumbo tokens! Um, that's our, that's our cue that we have gotten everything in this world. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out, actually. It, it did not take too long to do everything. Uh, and unfortunately, little, little baby croc is very slow, but we do have to take him out of this world as well. Come on, little baby croc. You can do it. You can waddle your little, your little crocodile tail out of this world. Jump up onto the platform, and here we go! So, if you haven't guessed by now, similar to, uh, Mumbo's Mountain, we have something that we can do on the overworld with Crocodile Banjo. And that has to do with the thing that we did before we even went into Bubble Gloop Swamp. We go through this tunnel, arrive on the other side, and remember that icicle that we broke as Banjo? Well, all the way up here, there is a teeny tiny little tunnel that we couldn't fit through before. Head through. And... We have a big old floating book. Cheeto the Spellbook, you have found the magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book finders Bear and Bird are? Spell they get. We sure do, Bag Lady. Come on, Book Boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on Sand Castle Floor in Treasure Trove Code World. Help you, it will. Hidden in lair, other spellbooks are. Them you should find. You, yeah, weird speech patterns, buddy, but thank you for thank you for tips. So yes, if you input that code into the Treasure Trove Cove world, the same place where I was talking about stop and swap, then you essentially get double bird eggs. Uh, your inventory gets increased by Twofold, I do believe, I think, so you'll have 200 eggs to play with. I'm not gonna bother. It's technically a cheat code, and I'm not into using cheat codes personally. Um, some people might argue that, oh, it's a it's a part of the game, and it's, it's technically a collectible, quote-unquote, I guess, suppose. Like an upgrade of sorts, but uh, to me, it, it still kind of counts as a cheat code, and not that I really need need an expanded inventory at all or that it makes anything any more challenging or whatever but I just I'm just not into using it so we're gonna skip out on that but just so you know that upgrade is available to you it's kind of weird because I think the only reason why I feel weird about it hello mumbo magic get weak animal turn back or magic go yeah that's fine uh, <laughs> magic all gone. Must go back to a barren bird now. Thank you very much. I, th I feel like if they used any word other than cheat, I probably wouldn't feel weird about it. But it, it just does make me feel weird, so, meh. Well, we'll mess with that some other time. So with that, I think we're about ready to wrap things up here. We're gonna stop off right in front of Grunty and taunt her in her face until the next episode. So, I will see you guys then. Masinella, out.